If you're a gamer, you probably still have some of your games for various Nintendo consoles stashed away in your closet, along with your Lisa Frank Trapper Keeper or your old Transformers toys. Parting with these classics could earn some cold hard cash, for the right titles of course. These price estimates are based on video game price charting sites and recent eBay auctions, and focus only on games that have been used. If you kept your games sealed in the original boxes, you were probably a really boring kid, but obviously sealed games are worth a whole lot more. So what's worth the most today? Bonk's Adventure Originally released for the Doom TurboGrafx-16 console, Box Adventure's developers ported their quirky 2D platformer to the NES in 1994. In the game, you control Bonk, a hard-headed cave boy who battles prehistoric enemies by literally headbutting them to death. If you've got a copy of Bonk's Adventure for the NES hiding in your collection, it's worth quite a few bones, about $400 for the cartridge. Bubble Bobble Part 2 the second installment of the Bubble Bobble series sees the return of Bub and Bob, a pair of humans turned dragons who must make their way through increasingly difficult stages by barfing up bubbles to trap their enemies. The gameplay is similar to other Bubble Bobble games, although the NES version also includes bonus stages, in case you ever wanted to play Bubble Dragon Volleyball, which probably isn't a euphemism. A Bubble Bobble Part 2 cartridge is worth approximately $300. Panic Restaurant it's a literal food fight when Chef Cookie has to battle his way through six levels filled with food beasts with nothing but a frying pan and a stylish mustache. The game features some of the most seriously deranged box art of all time, but even if you've only got a loose copy of Panic Restaurant, it's worth around 540 bucks or one night with Gordon Ramsay. Aero Fighters Games where you pilot fighter planes are a dime a dozen, but Aero Fighters stands out by being one of the rarest titles ever released on the Super NES. Though its gameplay is predictable and the critics of the day called this version mediocre, the once worthless cart became desirable simply because there aren't too many of them out there. This one comes in at $559 for the cartridge alone, but you probably won't want to waste too much time playing it. Hagane, The Final Conflict A side-scrolling action platformer for the Super Nintendo featuring a cyborg ninja on a revenge quest? If you're not already completely sold on Hagane, The Final Conflict, it's time to put your inner child on a milk carton because it's missing. With a futuristic setting, challenging stages, and advanced controls, Hagane has become a cult classic. Currently, you can get around $475 for a loose cartridge. Metal Warriors Stomp down puny humans, smash through walls, and blast giant robots while piloting a mech assault suit in the Super Nintendo game Metal Warriors. It's set in a dystopian future where the remaining Metal Warriors defend the Earth from the evil Dark Axis forces. If you've got a copy, it can fetch you about $200, or about one one millionth of the cost to buy a robot death machine of your very own. Worms Armageddon You control a team of angry worms in this turn-based military strategy game for the Nintendo 64. As you advance through your antlet enemies, you can upgrade and gain new weapons, including the Holy Hand Grenade from the film Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Currently, the game is worth approximately $200, or 25 pounds of Nightcrawlers. Bomberman 64 The Second Attack In this sequel to Bomberman 64, you control Bomberman on an action adventure to save the world from possessed knights, demons, and even a goddess. While the game doesn't have graphics on par with some of the other N64 titles of its era, Bomberman 64 The Second Attack does give Bomberman a backstory. If you really want a complex history of a guy who's mostly fun because he blows stuff up, you can sell this game for about $150. Cubivore Survival of the Fittest Cubivore is an action-adventure title where you must guide your floppy cubic avatar through the world and make it stronger by devouring other cubivores, or strangely enough, mating with them in the game's convenient love tunnel. You absorb their power or make more powerful babies, and you remorselessly consume and impregnate your fellow creatures until you can take on the big boss, Killer Cubivore. Cubivore can net you about $130 for the GameCube disc alone, or about the price of a visit to a real love tunnel. Shantae The first in the Shantae series of platformers, you guide Shantae, a half-genie, on her fight against a dastardly female pirate with a terrible name, Risky Boots. The series has been wildly popular since its first release in 2002, with a fourth installment of the series set to be released in late 2016. If you're lucky enough to have wished for a copy for the Game Boy Color handheld console, you could sell the cartridge today for $290. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know which valuable games you found in your closet.